Day number 34. All right, well, praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. Here we are. We're counting down to the end of our 40. This is day number 34 of our time of fasting and prayer. And uh, so we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. We're going to go back to the book of Ephesians chapter 1, going in to Ephesians chapter 2. And today's topic is all things beneath his feet slash your feet. All things beneath his feet slash your feet. Important to understand, but as we talked about yesterday, according to the greatness of his power towards you who believe, as you believe, as you trust God, you're going to discover that God has given you not only access, but the ability to stand on or stand above every work, scheme, or plan that the enemy might try to launch against you. So again, as we fast and pray, we're, build, we're feeding our faith, we're starving our doubts, we're growing, we're establishing ourselves, we're increasing in the knowledge of God's will, which we'll pick that up tomorrow. But we're also in this becoming strong in him and through the knowledge of God's word, we have grace abounding to us, God's power and ability abounding towards us. So let's again go to Ephesians chapter 1. And for the sake of time today, let's go and just start with verse 17 and go following. That the God and Lord of our, Jesus, uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he would give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him so that the eyes of your understanding will be opened or enlightened, that you might know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he brought about in Christ in the anointing when he rose from the dead and sat at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places. Here we go. Far above all principalities, all powers, all mights, and all dominions. Far above every name that is named. Not only the names that are in this world, but even also the names that are in the world which is to come. And God has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. So again, the exceeding greatness of God's power that abounds towards you because of the knowledge of God's will, the grace of God that's extended to you, the power of God that comes to you because you believe. Again, believing, learning, knowing how to use your faith on purpose now is the same power that was brought about in Christ when he rose from the dead and sat down at the right hand of the Father far above every prince, every spiritual wickedness, every ruler of darkness, every principality, every thought process, every scheme, every dimension, everything that the enemy has unfolded, built, and established as a system in the world to bring about death, destruction, poverty, sickness, disease, infirmity, witchcraft, whatever it is, every principality, every power, every authority that is in the earth, every might and dominion. So again, every system that exists within the earth that is perpetuating and or releasing ideas, ideologies, um, as well as the um, release of sicknesses and diseases and every wicked thing that's in the earth. All of these have been put beneath the feet of Jesus, far above, raised up, far above principality, power, might, dominion, and every name that is named. Now, I think it's important here, as you understand this, is, is 
This is one of those simple yet and, and yet powerful keys overlooked by so many in the body of Christ. And that is, if it has a name, it's beneath you. Now, understand that. Cancer is a name. Poverty is a name. Confusion is a name. Doubt and unbelief is a name. So if it has a name, you have power over that. You have been given authority over that. And this will bear out in the scriptures that we read. So every name that is named, not only of the things that are in this world, but even also the things which are in the world to come, and God has put all things under his feet, Jesus. His name is higher than every other name, right? He's exalted his word even above his name and has gave, given Jesus to be head, head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. So Jesus is the head. And just so you don't mistake the fact that, yeah, we know all things are beneath Jesus, if he's the head and you're the body and you're part of the body, even if you are the little toe on the body, it's still beneath your feet. Now, I don't say that to be demeaning, but what I'm saying is the fact that everything that is in the body of Christ, even the feet which make up the body, the scriptures tell us that all of these things, every name, every prince, every power, every every um, a dominion and every might is beneath our feet. That's why it goes on in Ephesians chapter 2. And it says, for you, for you, he has made alive, verse 1, who were dead, who were once dead in trespasses and sins. And in the time past, when you walked according to, to the counsel or the course of this world, even according to the prince of the world, the prince of the power of the air that works in the children of disobedience. However, verse 4, God, rich in mercy, towards with his great love where he loved us, even when you were dead in sins, he has made you alive together with Christ and raised you up together and made you sit together in heavenly places in Christ. So again, I know that these are practical things that you understand, but in this time of fasting and prayer, I want you to understand that as a member of the body of Christ, as we see here, we have been made alive, raised up, seated together with Christ in heavenly places, far above principality, power, might, dominion, authority. Again, as we move into this, this is why, as a believer, going back to Ephesians 1, it's so important for you to know the mystery of his will. This is why it's so important for you to have the eyes of your understanding opened with all wisdom and prudence abounding towards you so that through the knowledge of God's will, you recognize and understand the power of God that has been made available to you, the power of God that abounds towards you because you believe. And it is through faith that now God's power will emanate, be released from you over every name that is named, every name that is named. Say it with me. Every name that is named. So in life, as you're presented with circumstances and situations, in life, as you're presented with a diagnosis or a prognosis or a challenge, in life, when something happens that uh, is designed to produce a negative uh, response in your life or a negative effect to rob or to steal, to kill or to destroy as the nature of the devil is, you have power over that because you can name it. So in the name of Jesus, confusion, doubt, fear has no place in my life. It's under my feet, right? Poverty, disease, concern and care has no place in my life. It's beneath my feet. Sickness, disease, and infirmity has no place in my life. 
it's beneath my feet. And when I begin to believe this and use my faith, this is where the power, the grace, the wisdom, and the prudence of God abounds towards me and is released through me. Because when I see and know that I have been raised up into the head, Jesus is the head, we're the body, we're firmly connected and joined unto him, that all power in heaven and earth that God gave to his disciples is what I'm now operating in, and I'm seated together with him in heavenly places. Now again, let me say this as we close out in prayer. Remember, you've got to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. You have to believe and decree. It's not just to know it, but the knowledge of his will also gives you the ability through wisdom to declare and to decree a thing. You have to speak to those things that have come against you. Again, the book of Ephesians will bear this out, but today we're talking about all things beneath your feet because they're beneath his feet. He is the head, you're the body, you're fitly joined together in him and to him, and now you've been given power over all the power of your enemy. So I encourage you today, if it has a name, name it and call it beneath your feet. If it has a name, if it's an objection, a challenge, something that has risen up and you can name it, then it has to be subjected to your prayer, your decree, your declaration as a child of God, all right? You got that? So name it, speak to it, declare it, and decree it. Let's pray. Father, thank you once again today for the knowledge of your will. Thank you, Father, that you have given unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. Thank you that all wisdom and prudence God abounds towards us. Thank you that you have given us power over all the power of our enemies. The Lord, in the name of Jesus today, all things are beneath your feet, and you are the head of the church, which is your body. I am a member of the church and a part of your body. Therefore, as a member of your body, everything that's beneath your feet is beneath my feet. And so in the name of Jesus, I decree that the grace of God abounds to me and through me today, that favor encompasses me as with a shield, that I do not walk in darkness, but I walk in light. And today I have power over all the power of my enemy, and Satan, and every work of darkness. I break your power. I command and decree, you loose your hold from my body and get beneath my feet. For today, my decree, I have been raised up, I am seated together with Christ in heavenly places, and I am anointed as a head over sickness, disease, infirmity, poverty, uh, and all works of wickedness in the earth, in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Went a little bit long this morning, uh, but God bless you as we continue, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Continue to watch these, share these with friends and family as we wind down this time of fasting and prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.